Hey, what's going on, Your Charisma team? Nathan Olson here from YourCharisma.com, helping you create your brand your way. On this channel, we do a lot of social media marketing help as well as Instagram tips. So if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe. Today, we're going to be talking about lookalike audiences, how you can start spending less and making more. Stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back. We're on my computer and if you guys want to spend less money while earning more clicks, more conversions, more traffic, then lookalike audiences is going to be one of the strongest audience pools that you can actually start targeting with your ads. And as we can see, I've just started using lookalike audiences on my uh, Leatherface page because I've built up enough of an audience uh, on the pixel itself. And we can just see that over the course of the past seven days, I've grown significantly, over 127% increase in likes, over 182% people uh, reached, and then almost 240% increase in post engagement. And this is all done through lookalike audiences. I've just started a couple campaigns because I wanted to show you guys the true power uh, behind lookalike audiences. So let's just go ahead and dive in and we're gonna figure out exactly how to set up a lookalike audience. <clears throat> so the first thing you wanna do, go straight to your business profile page on Facebook, go to your ads manager, and then navigate to the audience section. And, uh, <clears throat> while we wait for this to load. Um, from here, you'll be able to look at all the audiences that you've created over your time in Facebook Ads Manager. You'll also be able to create lookalike audiences, and that's our key focus here, is to create these lookalike audiences. And essentially, a lookalike audience is uh, information that you've provided to Facebook through pixel data for them to find similar users on their platform to match your criteria. So lookalike audiences are huge for reaching new users that have a high likelihood of conversion Converting with your content or your brand um, because they match similar people that have visited your website and have taken a specific action or have shown that they uh, have a inclination to click on lead magnets that you send out through these specific audiences. And Lookalike audiences are based off pixel data, meaning that if you don't already have pixel data created, that there is no way for you to actually integrate lookalike audiences into your campaign. You have to install the pixel into the back end of your website. and in order to build a strong lookalike audience, guys, this is going to be important. To build a strong lookalike audience, you have to send quality data to your website. And initially, that's going to mean that you guys are going to have to use Facebook audience analytics and Facebook audience insights in order to build a very high converting uh, audience pool. Initially, this is going to give you the proper pixel data so that when you go to create lookalike audiences, you are targeting highly specific, highly niche targeted individuals on the platform to ensure that you are efficiently spending your ad uh, budget properly. And so, so we're gonna create a lookalike audience and we're gonna choose the source. So the source is gonna be, um, so we're gonna make this based off individuals that like my Facebook page and we're gonna look for people in United States because these are the individuals that I wanna target. I'm tired of shipping out internationally. It costs me too much, it takes too much time. I would rather focus on individuals living in America because the overall shipping process is a little bit easier. And this is where it's going to get really tricky, guys. So the audience size, this is something that you're gonna to wanna to play around with. The higher the percent of countries that you create, say we make it, uh, let's, let's drag this up to two, three, you know, if we go all the way up to 10, this means that Facebook is finding people with a, uh, a larger gap between the similarities, meaning that uh, individuals, when you're looking for 10% of countries, will have a less likelihood of matching all the similarities that are uh, of people that have traveled traveled to your website. Um, so I recommend sticking with very low numbers. We want to be as highly targeted as possible. We want to match our audience that we're trying to create a similar lookalike audience for to be almost identical um, because we those are the people that we know convert those are the people that we know that, that will buy our products and that's the people we want to search for so still even at one percent we're looking at 2.2 million people on Facebook that match the criteria look like my Facebook page and so we're gonna create an audience here and it's simply just gonna create the lookalike audience and that's it, that's it, boom, we're done. So people who like the Leatherface page, it's gonna be updating the audience, it's gonna take some time, 
but when your audience is ready, it's going to show that green little dot right here, which means you are ready to create an ad with this. So we can select this, we can create an ad, and from here, this is where you're going to want to use your knowledge of Facebook advertisements in order to create a very compelling ad that's going to drive traffic. So I'm gonna take you through some of the ads that I'm utilizing currently. Um, we're gonna exit out of this, and these are all based off lookalike audiences, guys. I want I want to reassure you that these are all based off lookalike audiences because they've showed huge potential, huge lead magnets, huge lead traffic. It's incredible. I'm I'm ecstatic that I'm able to grow this brand in this way, and that I finally built up enough pixel data to actually use this. So as we can see, my results typically typically I'm spending around twenty dollars per ad. Um, so for this to be at $60, and I know this ad at this ad budget right here is at 100 and this one's at $40, but we can see the overall, like I'm only paying about $0.06 cents a click, $0.08 cents a click, and receiving huge amounts of traffic, guys, huge amounts. Um, so let's go, the frequency is around a 1, you know, people are only being sh showed the ad once before they actually convert. Unique link clicks as, is around about 1,000, um, which is huge, still only paying $0.06 cents per uh, lead that's incredible um, because my product is actually a hundred dollars. So even let's go I'm gonna show you guys this ad campaign right here. So the lifetime budget is a hundred dollars meaning out of 896 if only one person converts which is highly unlikely that only one person is going to convert I've already covered the cost of my ad guys, which means that I have received all 895 people because one person is actually uh, converted say 890 people 895 people have not converted that's okay because I've already covered the cost of my ad and I've exposed my brand to 895 people actually more like 9,645 people or 10,605 people I've actually seen or experienced and uh, had an impression with my actual advertisement and I've only spent $53 guys which means that there's about another uh, I would say another 900 to 1,000 more people that are going to travel to my website in order to view my actual campaign or to view my actual content, which is incredible. Um, I want to keep taking this forward and show you guys how to optimize your lookalike audience. So let's take a look at this one. This is the one I'm dumping a lot of money into because it's actually it's actually a blog post. Um, let's see if we can go ahead and view it. All right, guys, so this is my post. So as, I, as you can see, I've simply just created a blog post uh, simply about the top 12 leather motorcycle face mask in the industry. Um, this isn't a huge post. This isn't anything groundbreaking. This is a simple post that I'm using to outrank someone else SEO-wise on Google. So the fact that all this traffic is actually converting and being driven to this blog post is huge. So... I'm driving traffic to this blog post, but does that necessarily mean that the traffic I'm generating is actually quality leads? Let's take a look because I want to show you guys something. So I'm driving traffic to this blog post. So really, the super high converting individuals, the super duper high converting uh, users that have actually navigated to my website, those are going to be people that have gone to the blog post and have actually moved around on my website. Like they have left the blog post, they have gone to my shop in order to see and they'll actually add to cart and 17 initiate checkouts. So guys, right around September 4th is when I started using lookalike audiences. And as we can see, there is massive, massive gains here, guys. Um, huge, huge potential for increasing leads. I have seen a drastic increase in my overall um, add to carts and my initiate checkouts. And so I'm actually taking the time to use my current lookalike audiences based on website traffic, so about 5.3 thousand people, um, I'm using that to build up my add to cart lookalike audience as well as my initiate checkout and my purchase, my purchase uh, audience because these are going to be the money making audience guys. These are going to be the gold mine, the people that are willing to add to cart, the people that are thinking about initiate checkout. And if I find individuals that have purchased, if I can find a thousand people that match the similarities almost to the T for people that have purchased my actual product, then that is huge. That means I'm going to be spending significantly less in order to receive incredibly high returns, making this overall look like audience marketing machine 100% just set and forget. Once you create a high converting ad and you're targeting a, a actual profitable lookalike audience, you can just turn that thing on, dump money into it, and it will just continuously spit out sales for you, spit out product 
uh, product launches and so much more guys. So this is the ultimate power of lookalike audiences. You have to start implementing these things. They are huge, especially for reducing your overall ad expenditure and increasing your ROI. So that's going to wrap up this video, guys. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed. Please leave a, a, a question or concern in the comments if you have any. I love reaching out to you guys. I love talking with you, and I would love to help you uh, achieve these kind of gains on your Facebook ads. Um, so, guys, that's going to wrap it up, and enjoy.